Well, all right, guys, we are not at home for a change. We're back up at the cliffs of the noose. We come up to the top first just to get a peek at the water level. See, the place I want to go on my next adventure, yeah, it's up really high still. Wow. Now, see, one place I have never been here is down there. Um, there's paths that you can go around that way and go down. You can get to there. This is usually a big grassy field right there. The grassy field is completely underwater, obviously, but that is going to be our next all day all day journey crawling not today for sure so anyway we're gonna go on down to the lake today and go for a little crawl all right guys we are up here at the cliffs of the noose we're getting ready to go down by the lake and maybe find somewhere to drive these little trucks for a minute before it gets dark God, I got extra fat. I'm gonna have to get this long truck over this little bit. You won't have to do this, but. Uh. Now I'm running a brushed system in the hauler right now. This is just a Hobby Wing 1080 with a Trailmaster motor. Uh, as soon as we got to here, my wife got a phone call, of course. So we're gonna haul on down to the thing. Oops, my bad. We fit under it. I'm driving my wife's rig for a minute. She's on the phone. Not bad for a brush system.
Boy, it's a hot one today. I was hoping it was going to rain on us, to be honest. Lock them in. Doing some root straddling, or whatever you want to call it. Straddle the root. Oh, mosquito. Well, guys, I found us an obstacle way down off this bridge. Some rocks that go across right there. So we're gonna see if uh, see if we can manage to get across that little island right there from up here. Well, I'm gonna go down there. She's gonna be up here. Ow! Another mosquito. Ow! Just always remember them tracks don't grip like tires. So I'll guide you if you gotta go left or right, I'll tell you when we get down here, but. All right guys, check out this little island right across here. It's hard to tell, but you'll see when the truck gets here just what it looks like for real. It's a little bridge, it looks cool. I gotta come in wide like a tractor trailer would. Cause I got a full load on my truck. And the walls go tumbling down. No. Ah, uh, you can just wait there. I'm gonna try to make it first. And then see what happens. I'm gonna stay a little bit over this side for a minute. I know I gotta get my tires over to this rock though to come up. Y'all, uh, I don't think it shows on camera, but on this side, it's about a four foot drop off. I'm exaggerating, maybe three, but. It's steep. It's steep and it's somewhere I don't wanna have to go. Is what it is. Oh yeah, I got this. Them tracks might slip. If the tracks don't slip on hers, then she'll be all right. But look at that. This is a beast of a truck, man. Tracks this ought to hook me up with some sponsorship because I've been representing for their TRX rigs for some time now, years. And I've had a lot of people buy the high trail because of me. And I didn't get nothing because I don't have no affiliate link with them, But uh, which I don't care about that. I just be nice, Tractors, if you're listening. I know I'm a little channel, but I make a big impact. No, I'm just kidding. I've sold a lot of FMS rigs, I'll tell you that much. A couple months I've been there, I've already sold over five grand. All right. Now remember, when you come down through here, you got to stay a little bit on my side some. You hear them bullfrogs? Uh -huh. 
Sounds like he's got electricity running through him. Uh -huh. Alright, keep it straight right there. Straight. Not too much that way. There you go. Right there. Straighten out. There you go. Not so much. You can turn little turns too. Ow, mosquitoes. Alright, back the other way. Other way. Yeah, that way. Stay up that. You got to get up that rock right there. See, these are going to slip some. You might still be all right, though. Oh, yeah. The nice warm day. The tracks didn't slip. I was kind of expecting they would. Hmm. <laughs> Boy, it's hot. Well, guys, curiosity's got me because there's something sort of shiny down here. Y'all you know, know of any shiny snakes or anything? Oh, it's a it's a shoe. Somebody lost their shoe probably trying to run from a snake. I heard you have something shiny down there. A shiny old flip-flop. Hopefully I don't just put my fingerprints on any kind of bad evidence. Yeah, right. Well, while I'm here, I'm going to try to drive up these rocks with my truck. And we're going to go, we'll see if her tank shreds can do it or not. Oh, well, if not, then you can always come down it. I might go around. Okay. Go up that yeah, she's going to go around and go up another one. I'm going to come down and try to make it up with a full load. I don't think we're going to run little trucks in this video. We're going to have to do two separate videos with little trucks. Because it's going to be a full full length video. Ooh, we're going to have to hurry up. <laughs> I knew we weren't going to make it in one piece, so. I was about to roll, so I gave her some gas. Now, I'm looking for the path. Now, I know I'm asking too much of this truck, but we're going to try something super crazy. It is the TRX-4. Or TX6, I mean. So, they're very capable enough. Let's see what happens. Oops, sorry. Come on. You can't flip now. Don't flip. Get back on track. Uh, don't need to get over that far. Come on. Uh, it keeps wanting to raise the front end. Look at this thing go there. Oops. All right, these are made for that sand. So what we're going to do is kind of come up this sandy path right here and see if she can make this run. This is about a 10 foot climb as well. Remember, that's a 100 foot scale climb. And with her doing it, it's equal to a 200 foot scale climb, see? <laughs> nice. Them tracks, they're made for this kind of stuff. Not rock crawlers, but man, they can go over some dirt. That was nice. <sighs> Tomorrow we will run a video with the little trucks, but I am burning up and the mosquitoes are just tearing into us right now. You think I can make it up the same run? That's the question here. I can if I don't go right there. It is. Can I get up the same run with my feet is the thing. Ugh.
Plenty of roots on this sucker, that's for sure. Oh my god, this is too hot for me. Oops, sorry. Damn mosquitoes. Well, now we know not to come here after dark. Well, there's ants that bother you during the day, but they're not fire ants, they're them big old ants. My hand is sweating so bad, I'm afraid it's gonna get my gimbal wet. You can keep going on up to the truck. I'll catch you up. We're just going for a walk after dinner, mostly. This truck really doesn't have to have that brushless system I had before. This Hobby Wing 1080 and Trailmaster just does great. I mean, even in first gear, it's got plenty. Oh boy. I can't keep up with it in first gear. Stay over here. Well guys, that was our journey for the day. I am dripping water from head to toe right now. And then we went in the dark. And to be honest, if the mosquitoes weren't eating us up right now, then we would have done the little truck video today as well. I planned on doing two separate videos anyway. Problem is, I just can't do it right now. So, we'll take care of that on the next run. Tomorrow, we'll get that video. So, please like, subscribe, share. I'll still put the link for FMS in the description below. Get you one of them badass trucks you've seen on the back of that tow truck today. And we will catch you on the next one. Check out this little rice burner coming through. Nice, huh? If you like that kind of stuff, I'll blow his doors off once we, once his turbos fade out. Yeah, right, I couldn't keep up with him in neutral. Oh, peace.